The Amazfit Stratus 3, the Xiaomi Amazfit lineup is growing more and more popular and the lineup itself is growing in numbers. We are looking at the Stratus 3 today and determining who the Stratus 3 is for. We are putting it to the test as we do with all our smartwatches. They will go through the endurance testing from heart rate through to throwing it in the largest river in Munich and much more. Not only that, we will have a full review of all the capabilities the Stratos 3 has to offer. physical appearance. Although we have this full round transvective display, it features a four button design. This is really useful when you go running or have any other intensive workout for this matter. And the four physical buttons really enable you to browse through the features or maybe just control the device without using the touchscreen whatsoever. Top right, sport modes and select. And in the middle you have the up and down and on the bottom you have the menu and back and the sport modes are self-explanatory i feature them later you have 80 in total you press you go running you do whatever you like to do and the middle ones is a really different feature set here you have your compass you have location stopwatch alarm it's a whole set of features you can access menu back button and you can see there's a whole bunch of amazfit os applications you can install or uninstall you can do this easily via the amazfit app and you can really shuffle them around and customize the way you want you cannot install that part the apps that is not possible there are some apps on the bottom you can see here that are only usable in china no exercise goes without music well for us that is however the Macefit stratus 3 has an internal storage of two gigabyte that means you can directly download your music locally and you can connect bluetooth earphones also directly to the watch it means you can go running jogging whatever your heart desires in terms of size it is 48.6 millimeter then the case thickness is 13.4 as for the weight the stratus 3 features a stainless steel body and that's combined with reinforced plastic and that makes the watch more robust and kind of minimizes the weight it is only 40.4 grams so that's kind of cool you have a big display you can really read well when it's sunny outside and it is not too heavy on your wrist this leads me into the screen technology of the Amazfit Stratus 3. What does it mean? Transvective screen has less color saturation and needs to be readable in low light conditions or in direct sunlight. That's what it does. It has lower battery usage, but hang on, let me demonstrate that for you. Here's a sample footage of outside shot at noon with direct sunlight. And you can see on the Stratus 3, you can see every single item that is displayed on the watch that is really readable. And that's what a transvective screen is. You go out in bright sunlight and you can read every single thing. But when you go inside it all changes it really changes around you look at the status free you can still see what's going on but it's not as crisp obviously as for the sensors, the Amazfit brand really have their own sensors, their very own sensors. And these are called bio-tracking optical sensors. So far, we did not have any bad experience with them, but we'll see if the Stratus 3 holds up to their claim. It also features a six axis acceleration sensor, three axis geomagnetic sensor, and an air pressure sensor. Amazfit claim up to 50 meters water resistant and it gets a big thumbs up from us as mentioned earlier you have 80 sport modes and that is a lot you can also add sport modes if you like we feature them all on the bottom here and you know what we're just going to go outside to see how accurate the stratus 3 is <laughs> We have a heart rate of 157 on the Polar Bees, 158 on the Stratus 3, so just one out. Polar Bee chest strap, 169, 170, a Macefit Stratus 3, pretty much in line. And we are really impressed with the accuracy the Macefit gives us. And it Jens was well out. worth it. Now, how accurate was that? That is pretty, pretty cool. And it doesn't stop here. You have an advanced performance analytics available, and that is by first speed. You're probably familiar with that. You have a total of eight first speed features on board this Stratus 3. It includes the VO2 max fitness level, training load, training effect, recovery time advisor, real-time performance condition, personalized training plans, real-time coaching, calories burned, and all of this is available during your exercise. Nothing goes unnoticed on our tests for our smartwatches 
and on this occasion the 300 steps the Stratus 3 manage 309. When you look at the menu system on your Amazfit Stratus 3, you will see GPS plus Glonas, GPS plus Galileo, GPS plus Baidu. Why should you care? Well, these are the core satellite navigation systems around the world. Currently, GPS is for the US, Glonas is for the Russian Federation, Galileo, European Union, and Baidu for China. So, it is way more accurate when you have these systems available. Imagine you go out and about in the mountains or even a city. The shadows of the building can really distract the GPS signal you go into a forest with a high tree density and that will certainly help you anywhere in the world to get the most accurate reading possible as for the amaze fed up i really start to appreciate having a simple design and simple layout all the data is here at first glance you have step count calories heart rate vo2 max sleep score and many more on the bottom you have tools you can expand customize that and you have so many things you can drill into if you like you have watch faces you can choose from i really really appreciate the simple layout here in terms of smartwatch capabilities the amazfit status 3 can basically display messages from facebook messenger sms youtube instagram and have an incoming call displayed you cannot do anything with it you have to go back to your phone in order to basically reply or take the phone call automatic sleep tracking is available on the status 3 and you can view your data the next day in the amazfit app itself and you will see a sleep score for yourself and a sleep time and it will show you how long your deep sleep was and your overall sleep and it will also compare this with similar users like it will tell me here for example you fell asleep earlier than 25 percent of people that are similar to you and that gives you kind of an idea how good or bad your sleep really is as for the battery mode you really have to differentiate between two things here the normal mode like your regular smartwatch mode or whatever you want to call it and then you have the gps continuously working time mode that means you have gps on all the time and you have three modes here so go back to the normal mode we have two modes number one smart mode seven days ultra endurance mode lasts you 14 days the gps continuously working time is in number one is the accurate mode then you have a balanced mode and then you have the power set saving mode just to give you an idea the power saving mode apparently lasts up to 70 hours we haven't tried that but it turns off your heart rate monitor touch function notifications and many many more features in order to last that long in our test in our normal test we last up to six days and we use it heavily so who's the Amazfit Stratus 3 really for? Well, you can put it this way. It is really for pro users who are after the most accurate data anywhere in the world. For professionals who are not just going jogging like us, who step it up and want to see more data and want to have really all the features available for a reasonably good price.